Aloha, aloha. So, I had this tarot deck in my room, and the only card that was out of the deck, and it was on my bed, and it was the Six of Swords, and this talks about moving past things, moving towards calmer waters, healing. But it's like something's always lingering in someone's journey. This is something, someone's moving past something, but they're still going to be carrying something with them. And I don't know what the fuck that is, but I also heard when I was first starting this was someone's breaking down the barriers. That looks like somebody breaking down. So, I feel the barriers could be someone stepping out of their comfort zone or someone trying to get in towards you. Maybe there was like some sort of, wow, get in towards you. So, this could be competition. They could feel This is breaking down the barriers. You could have been fighting something off. It's like you moved past something. Move to you move towards calmer waters. It's like somebody let something go. Somebody got out of their head even. But it's like it was still lingering. Something was still lingering around. star at the bottom of the deck that's Aquarius but it also speaks of healing this could be someone still had work to do somebody was still open but closed off what the fuck is this what the fuck is going on with this deck what, what happened like literally, like what just happened? Wow, that was, what the fuck happened here? That could be the vibe someone's feeling. Like literally, what happened to this deck? It's like all types of fucked up. Okay, let's see what came out. We got the star. This is some crazy shit. Like, I don't even know if I should be pulling all of this out, but I want to see what the hell is going on. So someone was... Whoa. Trippy, trippy, trippy energy. Give me a second. Oh my, oh my. I don't know what happened here. a whole ass story and I can't even remember what I was saying before this hmm. honestly I feel like I want to shuffle from a whole other deck because I feel like Somebody tried to move past something. And I'm j I'm hearing they're getting bombarded with signs. That could be the barriers that's being broken. It's like somebody said, no, I ain't going to deal with it. And then every day they keep receiving signs that it's time to go. It's time to... Wow. Wow. <laughs> The fucking Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of both decks. There's a huge opportunity being offered. And that's why it feels like the, the bombarding because it's the divines nudging you in a specific direction. I'm being called to read the Ace of Pentacles from the book for you all. So let's do that. Oh my, oh my. 
my. Oh my. <gasps> Ooh, this is giving me Wizard of Oz vibe. Like lions, tigers, and bears. Oh my. Like someone is getting the courage. Like it was like a it was like step by step. Or one step at a time, baby steps. Someone found the courage. Someone someone's getting um tapping into their heart space creating a intelligent mind and remembering where home is but home home means nothing if you are lacking in these different aspects i don't know what the fuck that was what the fuck i don't know what that was but what was that yeah <laughs> okay I don't know. There we go. The Ace of Pentacles offers you a brand new opportunity in finances and material prosperity. For it is a for it is from a cloud that a hand. I'm gonna bring it out. It is from a cloud. That a hand offering a pentacle over a lush garden of growing wheat appears. And although wheat is commonly seen as harvested in a brown color, it is shown here in a lush shade of green as to signify that this is merely the beginning stages of its growth and yours. The Ace of Pentacles is a positive card to receive and it signifies a brand new opportunity in finances shall arise. This fresh and revitalized energy may present itself. That's crazy how I was hiding it a little. May present itself as the beginning of a new investment, job, promotion, or even a literal gift of financial or material support. At this time, you're being called here to tend to the wheat crops and nurture this opportunity that has been given to you as it will eventually yield forth a bountiful harvest. So joyfully accept this offer and the beautiful feelings of prosperity and abundance that comes with it. We got two aces here. So this could obviously speak of two people or you just being handed two huge opportunities two gifts a huge pay raise a huge promotion like i'm seeing someone um Signing up for the manager position, but then they end up being like a fucking CEO or some shit. Like, this is huge. This is huge that there's two aces and I just can't. So, let's see. Let's see. There's gonna have heavy celebrations. We have three, three here, and that's six, and that's the lover's energy. So a very sacred union, a sacred connection that's happening, not just within love, but within partnership, within everything around you. Oh my God. Oh my God. Like, yes to the financial games. I'm here for it. What's this? Ooh. So somebody could have been feeling conflicted these past days, feeling like they don't know how to feel. They don't know, they don't know shit. Life as they know it, as they knew it, is beginning to end, that's why. So things could have felt foggy, confused. And it's like you're finally gonna have the opportunity to relax, to be at peace, to breathe. <laughs> There's the fucking lovers. There's someone coming towards you that is going to allow you to feel at ease because you're doing that for self. 
you're, you're graciously accepting these new opportunities. I do see here that someone's definitely has been recovering from some sort of separation, some sort of heartbreak. And it's opened your eyes to a whole new world. You're tapping into peace and prosperity. But I am seeing because you're focusing on this healing path, knowing who you are, focusing on creating stability in life, that being the root of things. It's like you're becoming more aware of the beauty around you. I see you tapping into your creativity and you just totally making something out of nothing. Tapping in, I'm seeing someone that has been healing their inner child. And that's what's opening your eyes to these new things. I'm seeing someone who is always mesmerized by nature but it's like you're seeing it from a whole different light now. It's like you thought you were in awe before and now you're just like, things are starting to just take your breath away. Oh my boy, the lovers. feel that somebody is definitely needing to make some sort of sacrifice for this sacred connection to happen what is the sacrifice they're being called to make spirit so the sacrifice is to i'm hearing put your foolish needs aside even putting foolish emotions to rest let's read the fool Ooh, it just got cold again. I feel like somebody starts to warm up to something. Somebody starts to feel and then something goes cold. Okay, uh, they got me on the hanged man, so let's read that. And we got three major arcanas right on top of each other here. And that's the Empress energy. Okay, okay. The Hanged Man. This card may appear at a time when you simply need to just pause and wait. It may be a time that you need to reflect and readjust and know that by taking this time out to do so, you just might lead yourself. Land yourself. Ooh. Okay, I said lead though, but land yourself in a much better position than you've previously imagined. So here, remember the law of acceptance because at every moment you are exactly where you're supposed to be. Pushing won't help. All things happen within their destined time, so relax and just hang out. But then we got the fool, okay? I feel like somebody's been relaxing and hanging out for a little bit too long. And we did get the card that at the beginning the six of swords so it's like somebody mentally moved themselves towards calmer waters not submerging themselves so much in their emotions but allowing their emotions to continue to stay in motion so they can move past things forward motion but it's like there was still no moves that was made just mentally mentally somebody's making huge moves but so the fool, the fool may indicate foolishness and ill preparation. You may be experiencing a moment of naivety and taking some risk that just simply won't pan out. Make sure you understand long-term results and consequences of your action. Meditate and consult your guides for in this respect, you won't want to play the fool. I feel like playing the fool is someone thinking that they can just hang out and let things come to them or let things pass over. So 
So what is this? What are they being foolish about, Spirit? Yeah, look at that solo. La da da. I don't feel anything. What are they being foolish about? See, I don't feel anything. Being foolish about being dishonest with self. Even disloyal to the thoughts that you claim that you have moved past. It's like somebody moved past something, yes, but they're still not speaking their truth about how they feel about this connection. Still healing needed to be done, but I do see someone fucking shining in a very, very dark space. But still you're shining, I'm hearing, and still I rise. Still you rise and get the fuck up and go. Go where? Go to new love. To new forms of income. To new types of emotions. Moving past things. Letting your emotions stay in motion. Moving past things, yeah? The Three of Swords is usually somebody waiting. Waiting for their ships to come in, but she's going. She ain't waiting. She's going. I feel like somebody's waiting for somebody to make the first move. Whether this is a business offer or whatever the fuck this is, but it's obviously love because we got the lovers. Shit. Don't wait. Go. Okay. Okay. And even if this is within your mind, go. Get the fuck out of that space. Yes. Rise above the motherfucking chaos. Rise above the drama, the, the competition. But I'm also seeing someone open up. Because we had that five, nah, that's done. That's done, whatever happened in the past. But somebody, okay, spirits would say it. Somebody victoriously, somebody had a breakthrough. Breaking through the barriers, breaking past your comfort zones, breaking free from outdated beliefs and patterns, thought patterns that no longer resonate and really focusing on making things work and focusing on enjoying what you do, tapping into your creativity, writing more, dancing, singing, sewing, painting. I'm even hearing wood carving. Somebody may be a wood carver or someone that makes jewelry here. I'm seeing somebody making feather earrings. Maybe that's something you did in the past. Tapping in. Tapping in, okay? Ooh, baby, baby. Ooh, baby, baby. Victorious. Successfully. Someone's going to be successfully choosing the right one. Somebody could have been confused about which one to choose, and I feel like somebody's going to finally make a good choice. Oh my Jesus Lord. What? Okay, wait now. Hold up now. Hold up now. Yeah. Successfully make the right choice even if they were scared to do it. Even if mentally they're telling themselves, I don't know if this is the right choice. But they do it anyway. They go after it anyways. Because it was getting too heavy. To hold back. And it may be scary, but they're speaking their truth. Somebody could have, could be, or could have already said something. And whatever they... Hmm. Okay, okay. I'm seeing this as a conversation with self. Somebody could have, could have already told self something. Like, get your ass up and go and do it. And it was hard. And it was harsh. And it was rough and tough. Somebody felt like they was getting fucking dragged. 
but they did it. And now they can move forward and go. Now the coast is clear. Now the portal's open. Wow, look at that. We got that again. I think we got the same fucking thing yesterday. Or was it the Ten of Pentacles? But look at that. Now the coast is clear. Now the portal is open. And someone's doing it, and they're doing it fearlessly. Fearlessly. Because somebody may have been afraid in the past. I did it again with the deck. What the fuck? Oh, well, he wants to pop up. That's why. Fearlessly. It's like somebody has to do it quick. I'm seeing, like, ripping off a band-aid. Doing it quick before... Before, before their fears get in the way, before they start creating fucking illusions within their mind of how things isn't going to go right when there's so much ways that it's going to. Because the divines are on your fucking side. Because you know who you are and you're in control. And this is a sacred connection that you're moving towards. I feel like somebody somebody gets super stoked about it like so stoked that they want to lay it all out on the table but I'm hearing their higher self say, say just take it slow just take it slow and allow things to transform on its own Wish fulfillment. But this is taking it slow, being at ease, allowing things to unfold. Okay. Oh, shit. That was like story time. Oh, boy. Beautiful opportunities coming. We got that two aces of pentacles. I know I'm ready for that money to come in. Shit. I know I'm ready. Look at that death again. Death again. And seeing something must end for something new to begin. Even if it's ending, being stuck in the head, whatever it is. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. I don't know. Okay. I'm done. I'm done. Because I'm done. Every desire and need will be met. Kundalini rising. Rewire brain, ask for help, and we got the clean slate. I feel like this, this is the final steps, is knowing in your heart, knowing mentally, spiritually, emotionally, physically, that every need and desire will be met. Which allows you to go through this final kundalini rising in this phase. And also allows you to rewire your brain to be a perfect match for these new opportunities coming in. And I feel like one step somebody also has to do is not be afraid to ask for help. I feel like somebody has this clean slate and this this blank canvas and maybe they need someone on their side to help them create to help bring these ideas to life to even help celebrate these or sharing these material gifts that's coming towards you allowing somebody to share that with you yeah look at that pay raise somebody's getting a pay raise Claim that. Claim that energy. Third eye activations. Yes. And maintain your garden. So this is that beautiful thoughts. Making sure your body is healthy and pure enough for these things to come through. And yeah. 
So this is a collective reading. I'm currently not doing any personal readings at this time. I will be opening back up soon. But if you want to donate to the channel, the information is found down below for my PayPal, Venmo, Cash App. And I think that's all we have. I do. I'm being called to Pula Angels and Ancestors. But just know that when you give, it creates openings for you to receive. And I feel like in these times, I'm seeing someone like giving a homeless person a dollar. Giving a homeless person five dollars even. I'm seeing you, you using that money to support a small mom and pop shop, a uh, you know, small business um, entrepreneur shop, maybe buying someone's candle, buying something really small, and then you can give it to the homeless person or use it as a gift for someone. I'm seeing allowing that money to flow, flow, flow through, making sure you're giving, giving it to someone that's putting in works. That way you're not going to be such a match for people that you're going to be giving to and you're not going to be able to um, get anything back in return. Because there are, you know, shop owners, especially in these times, that they're on the verge of being homeless as well. And they've spent years and thousands of dollars and thousands of hours putting their hard work into these businesses so that's what i'm feeling in these times let's see oracle wait for important information <sighs> somebody's waiting somebody's waiting for this pay raise Somebody's waiting for things to change, waiting for something to come in. She's warming up is what she's doing as well. She's warming up to the idea of something. Here we are. I love you all. Aloha.